Hello everybody, today's story is called The Ugly Duckling. It was a sunny spring morning in the farmyard. Mother Duck sat proudly on her nest. Come, quickly, she called to the other animals. My eggs are beginning to hatch. Crack, 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 crack. <gasps> Out tumbled four perfect little ducklings. They were soft and fluffy and yellow. Oh, can you see the little ducklings? Four yellow ducklings. Oh, lovely. Aren't they just the sweetest ducklings ever? Winked the pink pig. Chirp, chirp, chirp to baby ducklings and mother duck gave them a big cuddle. But there was one egg left. It was bigger than the others and strangely speckled. Then it began to crack open. Out popped two funny feet. Two wobbly wings and one bumpy beak. Mother Duck gasped. He didn't look at all like her other baby ducklings. What a strange little creature. Such a funny colour. He's a very ugly duckling, snorted the pig. Hush, golden Mother Duck. He's my baby and I love him. Now come along children, it's time for your first swimming lesson. Mother Duck marched towards the pond and four little ducklings skipped along behind her. Wait for me, called the ugly duckling, but he tripped over his funny feet and bump. Oh dear, he crashed into the other ducklings. Bump, bump. Bump! He tumbled into the other ducklings. How clumsy! Never mind, said Mother Duck. Now, into the water like good little ducklings. Let's sing our duckling song, Mother Duck called. Quickety, quack, 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 chanted the four little ducklings. Honkety, honk, the ugly duckling sang happily. What's that? hooted the horse. You don't sing like a duckling. Now, now, said Mother Duck, he'll learn in time. But the ugly duckling didn't learn. And all summer long, the other animals teased him when he got stuck in things, when he tripped over things. How embarrassing and made an enormous mess. Oh dear, can you see all of that mud? No matter how hard he tried, the ugly duckling just didn't fit in. Why don't you go away, squawks the other little ducklings. You're noisy and messy and you're ruining our fun. Just then, they heard Mother Duck calling her children. Not you, shouted the ducklings, and off they pranced, leaving the ugly duckling behind. That's not very kind, is it? Oh. Why does no one want to play with me? sighed the ugly duckling. Oh, he's feeling sad. No time to play, said a mole, popping his head up. I'm digging a new tunnel for winter. Can I help? asked the ugly duckling, and he poked his bumpy beak underground. Where are you, my little one? quacked Mother Duck. We can't wait any longer, it's time to fly south for the winter. I'm coming, cried the ugly duckling, wait for me. But the ugly duckling was stuck in the tunnel and Mother Duck couldn't hear him. The ugly duckling wiggled and wiggled and he pushed and he pulled until pop, at last he was free. But it was too late. They had left without him. Oh no, sniffed the ugly duckling. I'll never catch them up now. I'm all alone. Oh, poor duckling. The days and nights grew colder 
and the ugly duckling sheltered in the hollow of an old oak tree. And as the snowflakes fell, he curled up in his long wings and dreamed of sunny days and games in the meadow. At last, the sun peeped out and the frozen pond began to pour. Then, one day, a beautiful swan glided across the sparkling water. Can you see the swan? And can you see the froggy sitting on the lily pad? The ugly duckling peeped out from behind the reeds. Oh, I wish I could go and swim with her, he said, but I'm too ugly to be her friend. And he gave a little sob. Who's there? called the swan. Come out and play. I can't, whispered the ugly duckling. I'm too funny looking and everybody laughs at me. I won't laugh, promised the swan. I don't mind how you look. So the ugly duckling took a deep breath and stepped outside. But you're beautiful, explained the swan. Look! And he looked down at his reflection and saw that she was right. <gasps> wow! The ugly duckling had grown into a swan. A beautiful, elegant swan with dazzling white feathers and a long, graceful neck. Wow, look how beautiful. He's turned into a beautiful swan. So they played together all day. He was very happy indeed. At last he was as beautiful on the outside as he was on the inside. And best of all, he had a friend. Oh, that's very nice, isn't it? He's all happy now and he's got a very nice friend who wants to play with him. And now he doesn't feel sad anymore. Thank you for listening to The Ugly Duckling. And I will see you again for the next story. Goodbye, everybody.